So this is Paisley, and uh, her beard is kind of short, um, but this is a this is a pet trim. And so we're going to take off her whole top skull with a tin blade forward. I'm holding her ears with my fingers, just taking some of that hair off because she's so furry. Now, when you take this cheek off, you want to come this way first so you can see where you're going, especially if you got a hairy dog. And then you're going to find the corner of the eye, and you're going to go in reverse right up to the corner of the eye and then carry that all the way around right up to the corner of the eye and stop same thing on the other side you can stay there Take the whole cheek off like this so you can see where you're going. Find the corner of the eye with your finger and go reverse all the way up to the corner of the eye, all the way around. The other thing you can do is you can look for that whisker nodule underneath here. There's a little whisker nodule. You can feel it with your fingers. That's a good spot. Like you know, that's as far as you need to go underneath there. And that's how you make your, your beard. Okay. That's scary, very, very scary. Very scary. And then I use my smaller clippers on a 30 setting. Take the inside of the ear. Take all that hair off from the inside of the ear. Go out to the edge like this. Holding it with your fingers nice and tight. And then I take that outside off uh, with about a 15 setting. Again, hold your ear with your fingers and go out to the outside edge. got a lot of hair so we're going to do it a couple times. And then you can do the edge, you can edge the ear with your clippers or you can do it with scissors. Just hold the ear really tight and Take your clipper right across the edge like that. One. Hold your ear nice and tight and go out to the edge like that and see where you're going. If you always go out and to the side, you won't normally get the ear. Put it back on the 30 so I can do the inside. Like I said, she's really hairy because it's been a little chilly here and she's an old lady. And 
haven't wanted to bother with her to, for a haircut. Plus she's got like a little sebaceous cyst thing that's come up on her neck that's popped. So I didn't want to hassle her too much. But I just couldn't stand it anymore. And everybody said they needed a schnauzer trim video. Because there are a lot of groomers that don't do this pattern correctly. And one of the big issues is the eyebrows. And I'm going to show you how to fix that too. Alright, so now we've got some more of this hair out of the way. We can see where we're at. You want to take out in between the eyebrows but just in the stop area. So if you pull them like this and get them out of the way, you can just take that little bit out in the center. Now, if you're looking for a more natural look, you want to do this with thinning shears and not your clippers. Okay, so now we've split our eyebrows and then we're gonna peel them back and we're gonna clip just in front of the eye. Don't go down the top of the nose. Don't take the whole bridge of the nose off. That makes them look real snipey and kind of adds to like that grumpy terrier look. So you can do this with your thinning shears too. When you're showing them, you only do it with thinning shears or you actually um, hand strip it. But just don't take off the whole bridge of the nose because it uh, takes away from the look of the dog. But the biggest thing that groomers do is they leave this eyebrow way back here. And that leaves way too much bushy stuff to stick up. So the main thing is, is when you come back here and try to fix this, you want to come right against that bone that's right behind the eye. Because otherwise you're leaving way too much eyebrow. And that's why it looks all bushy and it sticks up everywhere and it doesn't do what you want it to do. And you can never get your eyebrow to look right is because you've got you've got way too much behind the brow bone. Basically all you've got is what's sticking. If you take your finger and feel, you can feel the bone in the, uh, right behind the eye. You don't want it, you don't want any hair behind that. This is all your eyebrow in the front here. And so, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tin on her body. Um, a lot of people, oh, I won't go shorter than a five. Yes, I do. I like a five. I like a little more texture because I used to give, you know, do her hand stripped and I used to show her and that kind of thing for grooming competition. But for practical reasons on, you know, these pet dogs, you can, you can, do, you can go shorter than that. So anything from, and there's her little boo-boo there. Um, anything from like, I don't recommend going shorter than a 10, but I do have one that came from my breeder friend where she, where Paisley came from. Hi, Chris. Um, that, um, on her pet dogs, you know, she, she, she does a 10 in reverse. So, you know, whatever, whatever the client wants is, is fine. As long as you explain to them, you know, that. You know they might get clogged pores etc etc so for her i'm gonna do a 10 just because she's so hairy and because i want to see what else is going on with her skin because we have this little sebaceous cyst that came up and uh i want to make sure there's not any more um in her age that she's um, starting you to can get. do this, so this is, with this is thinning the shears okay. like i do you can do it with um, straight shears, whatever, whatever you want to do. But the main thing is, is that you come right up next to the eye right here. Because if you don't do that, you're not going to open up the side eye and you're not going to get your eyebrow correct. So, like I said, you can do it, you can do it with thinning shears like me, or you can do it with regular shears, it doesn't matter. But as long as you do that, and then, I know you probably can't see, let me see if I can do it from this direction. 
down the side of the beard like this so that it blends forward. And so now when you do that, you almost have your eyebrow. This part is done right here. Now all you have to do is comb your eyebrows slightly to the side and forward. And then I take my curved shears and I go under here and I take off the eyelashes and stuff. Just underneath here like this. That helps clear the eye so I can see it. And then I take my thinning shears. Some people do this with their curved shears. I've never been able to accomplish that. I use my thinners and I just go, I push straight forward like this. And I look at it from the front and I think I'd like it a little bit more narrow in the back again here because they have a long pointy eyebrow. She hasn't had eyebrows in a while either. <laughs> Bushy. Yeah. I'm going to take some of this out. Like an old man's eyebrow. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to turn her around. You want to try to do it from the front this way. We'll do the other one. Again, come right up next to the corner of the eye. This is this is where you end up with too much hair right here and you get this big, huge, bushy eyebrow. Scotties have a wider eyebrow. Or they used to. I think they may have changed it a little bit. I'll have to look. Underneath. Take out the eyelashes and stuff. And the other thing I do when I blow dry these guys is I blow dry all this hair forward. If they'll let you. That helps. Because you got to get that hair to lay forward. And if you got really big bushy eyebrows, you can thin them out a little bit. Okay. And then, what do you do when the customer says, My eyebrows are always in his eyes. I don't have them there, but they're too long. Just keep pushing forward and make them shorter and shorter. Like so. They don't have to be show schnauzer eyebrows, but you'd like to have a nicely shaped eyebrow, but they want it shorter. Just keep pushing your shears forward like this and aiming for the middle of the nose and that'll make them shorter. Let's try to get more stuff under here that I missed because it's been so long. Okay, so as long as you do that, you won't chop them off and blunt them. You'll still have schnauzer brows, but they'll just be shorter. Just aim right for the middle of the nose like that. And you can make short schnauzer brows. 
that your customers will like more, but still looks like a schnauzer. Like that. That's a short schnauzer face. Um, and you can, when you're trying to make the beard a little bit shorter, what I like to do is come from back here and shorten it this way first so you don't lose your shape. And you can do it with straighter curved shears too and just do that number. It's up to you, whatever you want. this aim for the front go from here aim for the front and take off your length that way see that way you still have that shape of a beard down. but you're not chopping it straight off and you can chop this off in a minute but you lose if you just chop it off square like that you lose the shape and to me that's it's cuter to have at least your shape of your schnauzer brow or sorry shape of your no schnauzer do it that way. yep just aim towards the front like this so you still have the shape of your beard like so you still have that nice angle and then you can cut it off in the front here so it looks squared off from the front, but from the side you still have that nice kind of a schnauzery type look. And like I said, I prefer to do it with my thinning shears because I like it to look a little bit more natural like it grew that way. And that way you can keep it shorter. Well, whatever length you want, you can even take it right up to the chin if you want to. Which keeps it cleaner. Which keeps it cleaner for your customer. But it still looks like looks cute. a schnauzer. Now, actually, what I do with her is I cut it off really short. But I want you guys to just see, you know, a short little schnauzer beard for your customers if that's what they want. Or if you're grooming your own baby at home. So keep it cute, but keep it short. So not so much goo goo. Um, another option is, and I don't mind doing this for y'all, is actually making this whole beard round on the end and not so schnauzery. So for like, for, for people that, um, want it to have a softer look you can actually make more like a mustache on the end like an asian fusion kind of thing comb it all straight up and trim it around this is what i like on her because she's older and i don't like her dripping water on my feet anymore you can round it all up around the whole thing do more like a little Asian fusion kind of thing and then a lot of times if you do this short enough then they're when they come back their beard won't be all matted and gross 
actually help. <laughs> I got two. Okay. Just round the whole thing around the outside edge like that. So it's cute and round. Again, this is all pet schnauzer stuff to make pet people happy or old ladies like this one. He's my old lady girl. Yeah. And you can pull all of this stuff forward and trim it off right even with the nose. I'll do it from this side now so you can see it from that way. Pull it all forward. Trim it off right even with the nose. I know you're following me, baby. <laughs> She's like, Daddy, why are you Save pointing that me. thing at me? Save Mom's me. grooming me. What are you looking at? Okay. So yeah, and you can make that as short, like almost right up to the bottom of her mouth, her lips. And you just have to kind of keep fluffing it up until you get it just right. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. You can take your thinning shears if it's too fluffy and thin it out like that. Make it lay down some more. And like I said, I like it all nice and soft. So then I just come back with my thinning shears and I soften everything because I like it to look like it just kind of grew that way. I don't like choppy lines, especially on these flatter coated dogs. down a little bit. Take the bulk out. Fluff it up again. Take the fuzzy stuff off. And now you get a little bit more of a square look. So it really just depends on the look you're going for and what your options are. Uh, as to what your options are. An old dog, you don't want so much hair. You want a short schnauzer trim, you want a full beard and the whole show schnauzer look, then you grow all this out and you just let it be. And you only trim the sides here. That's her old lady trim for her face.